favorite sports that is sweeping the nation. Where we're not just accurate, but we are spot on. Tony Monk here with Rick Hustle, man. Rick. Sports con is happening, man. You in the building. Oh, it's going down, bro. I, I love everything and everybody that's out here today showing love. Just really fellowship and just, I see all the vendors, man. Sure. A couple of old sports stars, new sports stars out yep. in the building. Y'all that came up with the booth, I, we done walked past y'all like three, four times. Hey, man, I appreciate you just sitting down and taking the time out to just hang with us today, nah, man. No, for real, man. It, it's, it's a blessing to come sit down and talk with you, Tom. No doubt, no We're doubt. We're going to get to the politics right now, man. What you got for me today, bro? Man, What's man, you, you you tell me, you, you the guy, tell me about, tell me about Rick Hustle, man. I, I'm, I, I've been I've been taking interviews, flying in today. I want to know my people before they sit down because I don't want to disrespect when you sit in the Square chair. business, tell man. Tell me about well, Rick Hustle. Man. Well, long story short, but not too long of a story, man. I'm oh, from four. Dallas, Texas, born and raised. We love it. The north side of Texas, man. So you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, I, like Mo 3 and all them boys running the air like yeah, that. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm a weird chopper baby myself. So okay. and I come from the other side of that town, you dig? But um other than that, bro, 32 years old, college graduate, Langston University, uh UTA went to grad school, um, uh went to the uh the American Broadcasting School, got okay. that broadcasting okay. certification right now, uh, truck driver by day. Uh, one of the baddest host MCs in the city right now, man. You know, by night and uh, you know, just trying to save one club at a time, baby. That's how we doing. Man. Tell me about the MC thing, man. You rocking the mic every night, man. Tell me what made you want to break into this, man. How'd you get into it? First I, I honestly would say, bro, it was like a transitional period between like undergrad. Figuring out what was gonna happen after undergrad, you right. know what I'm saying? Like I was already doing this till, like since like high school, so like 2009 was really like the start of it. Going through college and doing a couple parties, like after you would rock, get, after you would rock out during the football game, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's it. That's 10, 12 touchdowns, or I mean, 10, 12 tackles, or whatever, man, and you go rock out a party, it's really like a no brain on some shit, you know what I'm saying? Now, I think with MCing, it's a lot of having the voice. When did you figure out you had that? I think my mother was the one who found that, found that situation out. I think. It had to been like one time at church on a Sunday when you, when the youth choir was singing or something like that. I was pulling my own little Kirk Franklin spiel, and after that, it was history, bro. That was now, like was you hitting the notes, though, or you just came in just with the, oh, know, it was the dialogue like Kirk oh, Franklin? Oh, more dialogue. More dialogue. dialogue, more dialogue. More dialogue. Now, I got a little bit of a voice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can hold a tune, hold a note, but I'm no Chris But you know where your strong point is. Yes, you know, definitely know where the strong, strong points point is. is at. So, since like 98, 99, bro, you can definitely say it's been like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, like, you know, being a being the loudest one in class, you know, being the more talkative one on the field when I was playing ball and stuff like that, bro. It just kind of catapulted into a whole other world. And since then, for like the last 10, 12 years, bro, it's just been a, it's been a hell of a ride, bro. It's been fun, man. I love what I've been doing for the city. So is it, do you, I, I, I know you got the passion for it. You know, you know, you, you're up on the mic every night. Like, what is... What are those strenuous moments where you just like, oh man? Because again, you work multiple jobs already. Oh yeah. MCN, truck oh, yeah. driving, money in both. Oh yeah. But what's those moments where you're like, man, I, I gotta, I gotta get it up today just to, to get it out and, and because it's your job to get the club going. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta get the scene going. Oh yeah. Like what is that for you? Like who, who gets, who gets Rick going? Man, bro, I, I gotta say it's usually like. It's usually like the teammates that I used to have back in the day. Yeah. You can just hear them voices in your head sometimes and just be like, hey, come on, Rick. Say, like, bro, we got to pipe up tonight, bro. You already know what's on, bro. Like, it's really no if, ands, or buts about it. Knowing the job and the responsibility that you have, kind of like your job, kind of like, you know, a truck driver's job or a policeman's job or uh, even, even the bouncer in the club or even everybody in here today. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a role that they have to play. So the way I see it is kind of like how I saw it when I was still playing ball. You got a role you have to you have to, you have to take on. That role is very important to everybody else's job. So as long as you're doing your 111, man, which is your absolute best at all times, I really don't see no fall off in nothing. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like you come into a club, I could be on I could be on the job man like 14, 15 hours, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's that's for some people that's that's, that's un, unheard of, right? But hey, man, you know when, when you get that. You know, I guess you gotta say like it's like a relaxing feeling knowing that I'm doing something I love. You love. It's second nature. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mind you, don't get me wrong. I love doing what I do during the daytime. Sure. It pays the bills. It takes care of the family. It takes care of my livelihood and everything else between. But doing this, like what we doing right now, and even what I do with like you know the, the nightlife events and my own concerts and stuff, sure. that's just like it's just like music to my ears, bro. It's just like breathing. I need it. You feel what I'm saying? So, I, I, and, and, and this is for me, MC for dummies. This is me. This is for me. So I'm asking you this question. Talk to me, uh, talk. When it's coming to clubs and everything, like who who have you MC for? Like big Ooh, names, man. like that's like who 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 have you work with? Ooh. Um, I mean, if we really want to go back, let's say uh, 
Take I'm, ta back there, man. I'm talking like 2012 black label me uh, no label me goes uh, E40 too short um, let me see here Mr. Pookie um, Lord Jesus That's man uh, I done a concert for Yellow Beezy like New Year's Eve a couple years back in 2020 okay. um, definitely done a lot of shows with a lot of uh, Dallas's semi big names right now who are a lot of kids that are on the rise right now that are moving and grooving the city the right way like uh, brothers like Two Raw Quay, Delisha J, um, uh, Hollywood Los, Lord Jesus, man, I can think of so many names just popping in my head right now. Uh, Giorgio Armani, um, let me see here, another guy, uh, MLBG, Big Don, so many underground rappers that I've dealt with, and just a couple big names like I mentioned before already, bro. You you name them, I probably done it. You know what I'm saying? Like I looked up one night. Seen James Winston in the club. You feel what I'm saying? And it's just like you look up, you see him, they see you, you know what I'm saying? And you just like, and the right. be there. you know, the vibes are just there, man. And then when they come up to you and give you that, you know what I'm saying, reassurance, like, hey, dog, you did your thing tonight. You know, or, or it could be a sister who, like, um, uh, I forgot Shorty's name that played for the uh, the Dallas Wings right now, number 24. Uh, ah, it's on tip of my tongue. You feel me? You know who I'm talking I know, about. I know, you, I know if exactly you see what you're talking about. She exactly came by the Palms, I want to say, like a few months ago. Did not know her from a hill of bees, but when yeah. she, I won't say I didn't know her. I knew the face. I didn't know the name. She came up to me and was like, yo, you keep killing this shit, bro. Like, I definitely would want to say, like, we need you at our games on some yeah. stuff. Yeah. And right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get in, in tune with the wings right now to and, be like that. And, and I would love that. And, and that would be because WNBA needs it. Yes. They need more, they need more influential they need more. They need more energy. And because they deserve that, too. And they need more sure. city love. Like, the wings are one of the best teams in the yes, league right are. now. Yes, Why would we not want to have the support of the city to come support them right now? We do it for the Cowboys, the Mavericks. Right. Even when we can't even get in the building, it's best we start now while they're, you know what I'm saying, like not necessarily on the ground floor, but be so those that help pioneer them. Thank so, you. Exactly. Thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? They need that, they need that push just like we all have had that push. You sure. feel me? And Rick, let's let's I want to talk a little music with you before, right? Now, talk I'm to me, bro. Musically inclined person, but my God standing right here yeah. knows every artist from back to front. Uh with the new wave of music now. Okay. And where is the industry going? Where do you uh, are you are you okay? Because everything's a little different. Now I listen to some stuff here and there. Everybody's yeah. dropping more singles yeah. and everything, less albums, yeah. just things like mixtapes. Uh rappers are kind of the, the come up is I feel like it's a little quicker than it, it is. used to be. And, it is. But the less of that grind to hard work and like what is all that when you when you look at it? What's the music industry to you today? Well, for one, I would say, man, the new generation needs to understand what what, what the pioneers came came with first. Um, if you ask a lot of the rappers now that are coming up in like the streaming age of everything, you hear you see more so of um, their reference to like the rappers of the last ten years, the last twenty years plus. You don't hear them talk about the KRS ones, the Africa Bambadas, the Run DMCs. They don't know about those guys like that, and it's okay because I mean honestly, they weren't. It didn't come up in that generation like we did. Yeah. We had to learn about those guys first to actually understand the sound in which it came from. But it's okay that it's evolved the way it has? Or I would it... say yeah, but there needs to be a little bit more of an organic creativity to it now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff is getting sampled. A lot of stuff is getting recycled. A lot of stuff is getting like, how can I say, spun around the block. It's a lot more cadency when I want to say to the music now. I won't say the Migos were the ones who kind of messed that up for them, but I would say the Migos were the architects of they what were. you have right they now. Were. You know, and everybody follows suit after that. Oh it's yeah. Been a, oh yeah. A kind of a, a carbon copy. Nobody's put a different spin on. It. No, not at all. And I would say this to the guys and the, and the ladies who are out there right now: be yourselves, because you got brothers and sisters like myself, like you, who are journalists by heart. I went to school for journalism. Sure. My minor was English, you know, and I'm going to be a teacher here in the next year. I'm going to go coach, you know what I'm saying, high school, DISD. So, um, like, I'm listening to the kids now, and I hear what they bumping. And I'm like, bruh, he going to be cool for, like, maybe two years. There's going to be a journalist out here that's going to look this man's home, that's going to look this man's references up. He going to check that man's top, going to check his man's background. If none of that comes to be true and everything's fabricated, that boy is going to be... They gonna dig him. They gonna they gonna put him in the ditch, and he's gonna be done. A lot of the indictment rap, I would definitely say now, is um something that's gonna get a lot of these kids in trouble too, because we haven't paid attention to you know the YFN Luchis, even you know what's going on with YSL and that whole camp right and, and now. Tell me, tell me that influence, cause you got Young Boy. That's when they, his name comes into play. Oh yeah. All of these guys and the influence that they have on the kids. 
we're not throwing no shade on nothing. No shade at all. Music game. No uh, shade but, at all. But, like, what is that influence and, like, how, how important it is for them that's rapping about all this stuff to, like, hey, these kids still got to hear my music. They bumping me on the, in, on, on the way to school and, and class and stuff every day. The one thing I would tell YB and the rest of those guys who, who fall underneath that, what I like to call indictment rap, give them the story. But also give them the cautionary measures on what could happen if you decide to do this. Yeah. Okay, I spent the block on four guys. Cool. You go out and do it, you're going to end up in the same thing I'm dealing with right now. Because at the end of the day, it costs to be a criminal. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you got a DUI or a murder case on your top. It costs. That stuff costs, bro. So you, you say it's cool now. You got the streaming money. You got your concert money. You got your show money and everything from this one song. You better hold on to that. You better hold on to that money. That's what I got to say to him. Best advice I can give him. You know what I mean? Because, like I said before, if, if it's not true, if it's not real, these journalists, these these record execs, these labels, these bloggers are going to expose you and they're going to exploit you. And that's something that I don't want to see happen because majority of this genre is consumed by our faces. You know, both the black and the brown. And one thing I preach to both the black and the brown men and women is that if we're going to do this, let's be real about it. Let's be honest about it. Let's be organic with it. Yeah, you might have you one hell of a story, but tell the kids not to do that, though. Sure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think once they get that part down and they get back to the backpack rap, like, you know, like the Kanye's, the Jada Kisses, the... The, the music the, we listening to 20 years You now. dig what I'm saying? Like, you got some brothers right now, like even Earth Gang, for that matter, J. Cole and the rest of those guys, even Big Crit. I can even mention, like, um... Do what, what, you feel what I'm saying? Like, what's, what's a brother I can mention right now? Like, if we would even think about it in this last little three, four year decade, in this last little three, four year span, that's just, that falls underneath that umbrella. Can you name me one right now? It's hard to, isn't it? It's kind of tough. It's, it's really tough. tough right now. That hurts my feelings because yeah. I, I didn't live that life that most of these kids, like young boy, uh, you know what I'm saying? One of the, you know, I ain't gonna call them thugs. But like I said, the, the indictment rap. Yeah, it's, it's what's being rapped. You dig what I'm saying? The, the indictment rappers. I didn't live like them. Yeah. I want to hear about the brother who got up, yeah. had to go to the nine to five, went to the other nine to five for like another four hours, got back to the crib and still took care of his kids. Let me holler at them dudes. Let me holler at the brother who was hustling in the streets for a little bit, and then he got out the game, understood the game wasn't worth nothing, and then he really took it to the soil and really brought it back to the community or something. That's what the kids need to hear. That's what the kids should want to listen to. You feel me? It shouldn't be uh, uh, a little Dirk having to tell you that now, now that he know he under fire right now. You feel what I'm saying? Do that before the bad shit happens. You know what I'm saying? I hope we can cuss on him. Nah, you know yeah, man, we here, yeah, man. my we bad. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like do that before the bad shit happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't try and preach to him. I mean, it's okay you want to preach to him now, but let's try and do that in in, in the early stages of this hip hop game. You feel me? Yeah. Hey man, hottest MC in the uh, in the DFW every man. Rick Hustle, I thank you for sitting down with us, man. Spot on sports. I appreciate it. Sports, sweeping in it. See, you got Asian over here in the building. Hey, man. yeah, that's man, it. that's a hey. It's probably big homie. Hey, this all family. Love, bro. Then now I feel this. We yeah, know each other. Man. Oh, he just saw me in action, man. He done came to two one four King Tut, a whole bunch of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So like, hey, hey, that's, hey, what, that's you, one of my man. next guys. He about to sit down with me, man. Oh, and then, oh, no, nah, I, I, I let but, you see But no, no, Rick Hustle, man, you dropping knowledge, man. Letting everybody know what needs to happen in this music game. I appreciate it, bro. So important, man. Like you're really breaking it down for and everything and you're doing it the right way I appreciate it you understand it, bro. what it takes to do this I appreciate the right it way, man. Man. so where can everybody find you man let us know oh man y'all can definitely find me on uh, Instagram for show for show at uh, R-I-C underscore H-U-S-S-E-L you you probably just have to look him up his name will pop up you dig what I'm saying just R-I-C underscore you know what I'm saying you'll find it just like that real simple man you'll say like a high wood track of the baseball bat Facebook same thing Ricky Hustle R-I-C-K-Y-H-U-S-S-E-L and like I said man up and down like an elevator man like one of the baddest MCs in the city you know what I'm saying? Like, they, 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 look, they look at a brother, man. I hate to say it. They really look like a nigga, like a sick, like I'm a superhero on this stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's 14, a 16 hours on the show. They got to see people still, like you come on. doing your thing and that they know that they can do that too. I teach, I teach at, uh, at Richardson, JJ Pierce. Oh, for sure. I, I come to school in my J's. Yeah, I mean. All that stuff, but I let them know. Let them see that. The same thing that I'm doing is still looking school. Let them see that, bro. Because I be telling, I be telling some of the kids, like, uh, MC at a spot right now, uh, Flamingo Dallas, over there off like Loop 12 or whatever. Tell them every weekend. It's always one or two that come up to me asking me a good question about how can they get in this game. I said, man, the same way you just asked me, that's how I got in this game. Yeah. I had to ask some questions. I had to learn about it. I had to go look it up. You know what I'm saying? I had to go see about it. You really care about something, you're going to go see about it regardless where it's at. 
And the fact that y'all, you know what I'm saying, y'all got this beautiful, beautiful platform. I'm seeing what you guys have to offer right here. Hey, man, this ain't going to be the last time y'all going to see me, bro. We're going oh, no, to do some man. future work, we man. Do some stuff for, for real, real man. Because we sports it. announcing and everything, too. I do sports announcing for DISD. I uh, throw my own concerts and parties right now. Um, I actually have a concert. I would love for y'all to come pull up, too. Oh, okay. July 28th okay. at the Spot DTX downtown on Main Street. I'm sorry, Elm Street. Let me get it right. Okay. Um, it's called The Freedom Fighters. Cool. This one right here was supposed to be going down around uh, 4th of July, but I said I'm going to push it back just because everybody was a little still like in, in the holiday feel and stuff. Okay. And me, I want them to get the full grasp of the concept of the music that these kids are about to portray to y'all, man, because I got some real freedom fighters in this, you feel me? Love. Brothers who really talking some real prolific, playlistic shit that, uh, like I said, the indictment rapping with these brothers is, is long gone with, you feel me? They ain't talking about spinning the block, they ain't talking about hella drill, they ain't talking about all that shit there. They ain't talking about some real hustling, some real take your side chains and go put it in something else. You can go make sure that your life stays the same, you feel me? Yes, sir. That's what we on right now, man, you know? And, Audition and, and acting too. And just for you to know, we're actually a vendor with DISD. Uh, Word. LLC, everything spot on productions. We're handling uh, audio and visual uh, entertainment stuff. So oh, man. Some stuff that you need. You need yeah. We, 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 we're a little more than just this. We're a little more, we got a bigger team and everything. We can set up, do the live production photography. That's I'm putting bet. myself on right now on camera. On everything. And on camera, camera, live so. and direct. We putting it on for the set, man. Oh, yeah, that, that's man. that's so real. Just let us know. Let's do some work, man. Yeah, I love it, bro. I love it. Hey, if y'all can come pull up on the 28th, after this interview done, we're going to go ahead and put it together. Yeah, man. Let's make some arrangements for real, man. You know what I'm saying? Rick Hustle, man. Y'all tap in. Y'all know where to find them. This is Spot on Sports. Tony Monk. We'll be back in a moment. See y'all.